Buenos dias, honey. Buenos dias. Today is our last day in Cusco. Not really sure what this is. Looks like a political statement here. Snacks with a corn cob on the top. <laughs> it's awesome. Um, we just did some money exchange. I was gonna get Chris to tell you what the uh, USB exchange is here. So you wanna tell them on the camera? On the street, currently right now, you'll get an exchange of 3.28 uh, per USD. That's not bad. And um, Yeah, the interbank rate is 3.31, so it's not even a percent less. Yeah, um, and they're the, the money exchange places are everywhere, so no worries on that end. Um, but we're gonna do some shopping today since it's our last day. It's a beautiful day here in Cusco. It's gonna be chillier today. So we've got our, um, as you can tell, I've got my long sleeve shirt on and my cardigan. Um, it's gonna be in the 50s, upper 50s, lower 60s today. Nighttime, it definitely drops. But it is beautiful here in September. I'm so glad we came here in September. We've had the best weather. But um, good morning to you. Top of the morning. Hope everyone's doing well, wherever you are, when you're watching this vlog. <laughs> um, we are super sore today. Holy moly, are we sore. My calves are just crazy, crazy sore. Good thing we got a massage, or I got a massage yesterday because I don't think I would have been able to handle. Look at all the kids saying, hi, hi. <laughs> They're so cute. <laughs> the people here are awesome. I love the kiddos. They are precious. All right, I will check in with you later. And there's a random dog just straight <laughs> chilling. This is what the dogs do here. They're just like, don't mind me. Um, so we're at Ahana Market. What's this market? It's called the Central Artisan Market. Central Artisan Market. Do you know the area that we're in? We're on Avenue Del Sol. On Avenue Del Sol here at the Artisan Market. And we are getting some goodies to take home with us. The prices have been pretty good, so we haven't um, really been negotiating. Oh yeah, that one's pretty. Um, but there's all sorts of stuff that you can take home with you. Hola! <laughs> and everywhere takes visa, as you can see. <laughs> so far, I've gotten a makeup bag, um, a scarf, and a t-shirt. Oh, and something for baby Landon. I got him a little hat. So cute. Muy bonita. Muy bonita. Chris, what'd you get? I'll pack a sweater. Yes, yeah, so soft. Um, so this is what the um, the outside of the market looks like. You get some really good deals here. Prices are very good. Prices were good, huh? Really good. Didn't have to negotiate too much. Muy bien. We just came into this lovely little bakery ice cream shop and it is adorable. We have empanadas too. And look what's going on outside. <laughs> Not really sure. Parade. So many yummy things. It's still in the morning, but I don't care. I want some ice cream. <laughs> Okay, so we just ordered a little scoop of mango ice cream and we're trying Inca Cola for the first time. Their version of Coca Cola. I think it's cherry mm -hmm. Yeah, not crazy about that. It tastes like medicine to me, like cherry medicine. Not crazy about that. Still. The U.S. Coca-Cola wins, um, but this is quite tasty. The mango ice cream, very refreshing. 
just look at all these little Oh. So cute. This is where we are. Hot ice. It's really cute. And it looks like this. Little cafe. They're everywhere. Everywhere. Love it. What's your name again? My name is Leonardo. <laughs> Beautiful painting. Thank you, Miss. Muy bonita. We're gonna get this painting so that when we come home, we can put it up on our walls and remember the beautiful ladies of Peru. Do we need more chocolate? And we still have not found. Paulino, but do you know Paulino? Paulino, yes. Where is he? He comes in two hours. Two hours? Yes. He comes here? Yes, every day he comes to the watching from this street. We we want we want Paulino. Well he is a baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he he he's a specialist in babies. Yes. <laughs> Get him with me, don't leave me. Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. Guys, we're just walking, you know. Probably should not be walking this. We came up here to look at the Inca pyramids of Cusco, but they wanted us the price for it, what included three tours, and we're not all about that today. We just wanted to go see the ruins, but they wouldn't allow that. So now we're headed back. We took a taxi up. It's a 30 minute trek down. My legs are screaming in pain right now. I may just have to get a taxi. <laughs> Wish us luck. Hey, leather boy. Just around the river bend, beyond the shore. Hello, Pocahontas is not Inca. <laughs> I'm channeling my Pocahontas today. On our walk down, we stopped look at this beautiful view of Cusco and the Andes. It's a nice little walk down. This is corn. Well, oh no, just oh no. <laughs> so this is uh, Cusco's corn. This is what they're famous for. Mmm. Gracias. Gracias, muchas gracias. Okay, so this is one of the foods that they're famous for here in Giant Peru. Corn. I mean, look at those kernels, y'all. They're massive. They don't play with their corn here. What do you think? Bien. Very exciting. Got, they've got some like texture to this. They're like, they're like pretty meaty. <laughs> you know, our corn in the states are Jeez. tiny little, um, tiny little kernels in the states. But these are massive, and they they're good. They're sweet, but um, when you bite into them, they're like meaty. <laughs> So we start our descent down the city streets. I'm hurting. This, this is Machu Picchu after effects here, guys. I am like really struggling. <laughs> Hola. These are the Inca ruins. 
I got in trouble the other day because I was touching them. So, no touch. They're really cool. I love this little street. <coughs> Bless you. We're about to go eat some lunch. We just watched a tiny and they're having a little outside booth of um, desserts and coffee and sandwiches. Okay. Got a new scarf and I am loving it. Let me show you. It, well, I'll just show you in the light and the, this lighting's not that great, but it feels amazing. <laughs> Hola. Going back out. <laughs> We had best pe Did we even vlog it? We didn't even vlog lunch, like idiots. Guys, I'm sorry to let you down. We totally forgot to vlog lunch, but we had lunch out here on, in the courtyard, the beautiful courtyard of the JW Marriott. And we had the pizza again that I ordered for room service the other night that was so dang delicious. But we sat over there and I got me another glass of Sauvignon Blanc. I love their Sauvignon Blanc here from Peru. It is amazing. I gotta get the bottle. And we had some Pisco Sours. But it's starting to get chilly. So we're about to go back out. Shirt on. Yeah, it's getting cold. I'm gonna miss this hotel. I love this hotel so much. A little update. Remember when we were sitting at the park the other day eating empanadas and a guy came up to us with his paintings? Well, he showed us a painting that I fell in love with and idiotically we did not get it. And now we're on the hunt for him. And we remember his name and we've been asking the other artists around town, where is he? <laughs> we're on a mission. And I'm like, I'm trying not to like get sad here, but I don't think we're gonna find him. His name is, um, <laughs> his, his name is Paulino. And he had this painting of his child's face that was so good, the picture, the colors were so vibrant. I don't know why we didn't get it then. So I don't think we're gonna find him. We got a painting earlier and the guy told us that he's usually around this area around this time, but we don't see him. No Paulin, Paulino, no Paulino. Where are you Paulino? Oh, wait, no, that's not him. Very disappointing. Huh? <laughs> this is too funny. Okay. So as you know, we are still on the hunt for Paulina for this baby, baby face that we saw yesterday, this painting that we want. There, we've had probably a good, what, eight artists come by to show us their stuff. And I think word's gotten around that there's an American couple looking for Paulina because we keep asking whoever comes up, do you know Paulina? We're looking for a painting of you. And so we but just the last guy confirmed that yeah. I was looking for a baby. Yes, a yeah, now, a baby. yeah. Now they're coming up and they're just showing us baby faces, <laughs> baby painting. They, the last guy wanted to confirm that we're looking for a, a painting of a baby, not just a baby. And one of the guys <laughs> pretended he was Paulino, and I got so excited. And then I looked at his paintings. I was like, No, you're not Paulino. <laughs> Y'all, I think we hit the, like, the, the, we met the best artist in town last, yesterday, and we didn't even know. Gosh, these are the moments when I wish I could just take it back, take it back. Where are you, Paulino? <laughs> oh my God. We are in another beautiful cafe. <laughs> I've had this um, cafe the whole time we've been here in Cusco. And we finally made it in. This is the name of it. This is the name of it. <laughs> but 
but it is so charming in here. I just love it so much. Okay, so our beer came out. This is the their vlogger here in Cusco. One of them, but I think this is their main one. Um, oh, and it's got Machu Picchu right here on the label. That's awesome. And then Chris got Americano. So, I'm gonna try it. I may not like this. Cheers. Mm, it's not bad. It tastes like the, uh, yeah, it's like a Miller Lite. Miller Lite it is. All I need is a lime. You think they'll give me a lime? Yeah, what would you do today? This is what it looks like. This is not the cutest thing ever. Gotta come here. That's right here near Plaza de Armas. So, loved it. And I really enjoyed their beer. It was like, honestly, like a meal or a light. Cerveza. 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 We're in the market right now getting our friends and family some souvenirs. Um, got some coffee to take home. Some uh, chocolate. Um, and one of my friends wanted the Peruvian salt. So I found it. It's the pink, the Peruvian pink salt. So I'm taking that home for her. This little market is great. It's got a little bit of everything. So we're just doing a little shopping before we go back to the hotel. To get ready for dinner. Here's all the chocolate. Yeah, we made it to our dinner. It's called Asteria. And it's Italian. We're going Italian tonight. It is pretty busy in here, so that's a good sign. Super excited to try this. TripAdvisor said it was the number one Italian in Cusco. Win in Peru. Do Italian. <laughs> Yours looks amazing. Lasagna. And I got uh, spaghetti bolognese. It smells amazing. Yes. Currently waiting on Chris. He's in the baño. Uh, we just had early dinner. And it was pretty good. Not the best. <laughs> but I, uh, from one to five. I'm gonna do a scale, one to five, five being the best pasta. Um, I'd give it a 3.5. So, not the worst, but not the best either. It was still pretty tasty, and our waiters were outstanding. As always, the service is always really good here. Um, I told them I gave the pastas a 3.5 out of a one to five scale. I think that's pretty fair. Chris got the lasagna, I got the spaghetti bolognese. So, anyway, it's relieving. Um, oh gosh, I'm so sore. Uh, this is what it looks like. Asteria, food and wine. It's in this little area. We were here, if you remember, a few days ago. And we sat right here and had a cappuccino at this little adorable boutique store. So, yeah. But Chris is a wanting to walk. Oh, where are we walking to? Up the hill. Up the hill. Like we haven't climbed enough on this trip. Up the hill to see all the lights of the city. Um, <laughs> my calves, y'all. I'm, I'm hurting so bad. And then we're gonna walk back down. So this should be fun. And it's pretty chilly. Like, I think it's in the 50s. Uh, really, all I want to do is go to bed. Get my pajamas on. Ooh. Um, so, yeah. We're going to walk the streets of Cusco one last time. And um, then we may go to the bar at the hotel if, if we're feeling up. 
to it. That's every night we have eight o'clock kids around and we are like done for the night. I feel like such a grandma right now. I'm just so tired. I don't know what the deal is. And it's not and they're only like here it's only an hour behind us at home, so not really jet lagged or anything. Machu Picchu got me. <laughs> um look at pretty streets, pebble streets of Cusco. I'm gonna kill my husband. Y'all, look at this. This is what we're doing right now. I'm gonna kill him. Like really. I'm about to throw up my pasta. This is I'm gonna kill you. Like come on. We just hate Machu Picchu. <sighs> yeah. And my body is still hurting. Oh my god. <laughs> I'll flick you off. This better be worth it. <sighs> That's what we're trying. We're trying to get a good view of the city. <sighs> okay, guys. This is as far as we're gonna come. Because there's nobody in sight, and we just saw a black cat, which scares the freaking, you know, what out of me. There's Jesus. I don't know if you can see him or not. He's watching over us. Thank God. For some reason, Chris thinks that we're completely safe out here. Thinking he's a local, we're going. There's nobody out here. Chris, did you want to take a picture? That was the whole reason why we came out. So that's the only we've seen four people up here, and that's it. That's not a good sign. Oh, not to mention, we are not locals. <laughs> Okay, so, did you get your view? Yeah, but I think if we go up here and take a right, then there's more streets, safer streets that go up. They're not dark alleyways. You have no clue what you're talking about. You act, like, you act like you're local. Google Maps. Please. Baby, this is beautiful. Like, I'm seeing it, and I'm happy, I'm content. Let's go, let's go now. Let's go, there's two guys. The things I, the things I do for this man, the, the things I do for this man. I mean, please help me out here. Put it in the description bar below, or message me back, letting me know that this was a good decision to turn back, because this one would have gone all the way up where there's nobody inside. Senorita. And we're like just da, 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 la 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 in la la land. Two Americans uh, walking the streets at night in Peru with nobody in sight. Not, I mean, not a good thing. What? Come on. Getting the hell out of here.